The first step to amending the Constitution to allow for land expropriation without compensation is now over. After months of public comment and debate, the Constitutional Review Committee recommended constitutional change. The ANC says while 65% of written submissions were against amending the Constitution, the process was never intended to be judged on the number of submissions, but its content. It should be clarified that this House did not give the committee the mandate to conduct a referendum. As a result, anyone who makes an overemphasis on numbers will be grossly out of order. A sentiment echoed by the EFF, but the party says the outcome would have been finalized sooner if it went to a vote among South Africa's eligible voters. 90% of South Africans would have voted for expropriation of land without compensation. Meanwhile, opposing parties fought to the end, with the DA criticizing what he calls the ANC's failed land reform policies. Will amending the constitution revive all the failed restitution and redistribution farms lying fallow and miraculously turn them into well-run profitable entities? The Freedom From Plus accuses the ANC of being led by the EFF. You've made a huge blunder, and the poor ANC is like a drunken sailor falling over a wheelbarrow again. <laughs> Unfortunately, Chairperson, this whole process was a charade. There's 91 no's, and there's 209 yeses. The National Council of Provinces will now debate and vote on the proposal, the followed by a motion by the ANC to expedite the now adopted report to be tabled in the National Assembly this week. Lester Kivitz, Parliament.